Hello to all of my St. John's students. Um, how are you guys? I hope that you are having a very prayerful Holy Week. Um, I've been praying for you guys this week. So I am coming to you today with another read aloud because it's our reading challenge week. So I'm back in the library and I actually, I am wearing my coat even though it's very warm outside today. Um, I like coming to the library, one, because it's cheerful and colorful in here. It reminds me of you guys. But two, it is also very warm in here because I'm the only one who's in the building. All the teachers are, are teaching you guys um, from home with distance learning. So it's just me. So um, we've turned the heat way down. So it gets really, really cold in here. Um, so I've been wearing my jacket pretty much all week, even though it's super warm um, outside. But don't worry, I take breaks outside. So I hope you guys are enjoying the good weather too. So today we are going to mix it up with a little bit of humor and I'm going to read for you The Case of the Stinky Stench. So uh, this is by Josh Funk and the illustrations are brought by Brendan Kearney. I don't know if you guys have read any of the Lady Pancake Sir French Toast series. So there's other books of these. And I think they are hilarious. Um, so uh, Lady Pancake and Sir French Toast are detectives um, and they solve different cases in their refrigerator world. So today we're gonna see what is causing the stinky stench in the fridge. Back in the kitchen and deep in the fridge, past Trifle Tower across Taco Bridge. On a vacation at Marshmallow Coast, sat Lady Pancake beside Sir French Toast, knocking down syrup from Northern Vermont. Over the bridge came Inspector Croissant. I bet that Croissant has got a case for them to solve. Uncle, Croissant said, the fridge is in trouble. A horrible stench turned a whole shelf to rubble. I'm the last hope where the fridge will be lost. Help me or else we'll be cooked, served, and sauced. Nefarious odors began wafting by. As French toast replied, I'll certainly try. Don't you hate that when you open up the fridge and there's a really bad smell? Ugh, nothing is worse than that. I've got to succeed, said Croissant with a sob. I've solved zero cases since getting this job. It's Baron Von Waffle, that devious square, said Pancake with anger. Let's head to his lair. So the word lair comes from the Dutch word ledger, which means bed, but lair is just a place where somebody lives. So that's what that means. They started their search crossing Salsa Ravine and lumbered through smog around Mount Everbeen. Slowly they crept to the onion ring cave. Baron Von Waffle said toast, you old knave. So a knave is like another word for like a bad person, like a scoundrel. What are you doing here? Waffle said, sneering. I'm sleuthing, Croissant said, and you're interfering. What do you know about smells that are vicious? Nothing, said Waffle. My home smells delicious. I wonder what goes on in the refrigerator when we close the door. Do you think it comes to life like this and they have their own little village in town? Nephew said toast, waffles right. It smells splendid. The trio trudged out, but the case hadn't ended. Mm, the smell's getting worse, said Croissant, with a shiver as tater tots stumbled through Applesauce River. Oh, look at those poor tater tots. They got to run away from the smell. Poor guys. 
an okra popped out of a red curry dish and said, there's a tale of a stinky red fish who lurks at the bottom of Corn Chowder Lake. Great, said Croissant, as he tripped by Miss Steak. Rowing their fastest with carrick stick oars, they studied the depth and they scanned all the shores. Ahoy, cried Croissant, a red herring right there. At last they'd unravel this stinky affair. So a herring is a type of fish. They paddled on forward, but as the boat neared, a flavorful smoky aroma appeared. It seemed the red herring was just a bad clue. Dejected, the three didn't know what to do. So it wasn't the red herring. It's time to give up, Pancake said with remorse. No, said Croissant, I'll discover the source. Inspector Croissant took a mighty big whiff. The odor is coming from Casserole Cliff. Uh-oh, what are they gonna find at Casserole Cliff? Peppers lay slumping and apples were dented. Plum shrank to prunes and the beans had fermented. That's when they saw it, the source of their woe. What do you think it's gonna be? A moldy old fruit cake from eight months ago. Someone destroy him, said Pancake right now. Sure, replied Toast but I can't fathom how. It's always the fruit cake. If you haven't tried fruit cake, don't. It's really disgusting. The fruit cake just cowered, alone looking scared. Life isn't all bowls of cherries he shared. I entered the fridge, but then soon was forgotten. Slowly I crumbled, and now I'm just rotten. Poor fruitcake, I do feel bad for him. Fruitcake just gets no respect. This is my case, said Croissant. I'll prevail. Everyone knows fruitcakes never go stale. How would you like being left to decay? This is no villain. Let's help him make way. Together they journeyed past cliff, lake, and cave and offered the fruitcake a shower and shave. So they're shaving off his mold because they are right. Fruitcakes can last forever. Soon the old fruitcake was fresh as could be. What's that delectable smell? Asked Miss Bree. With all nasty odors destroyed and dissolved, the team celebrated and shouted, case solved. So now they're having a party in the fridge. Ooh, look at this. Spuddy Holly and the Croquettes are playing. Wow, that's pretty fancy. So here's the map of their fridge world that they were talking about. So Taco Bridge, Marshmallow Coast, Applesauce River, Corn Chowder Lake. It looks like a pretty fun place. The end. So I hope that you enjoyed um, this tale of Lady Pancake and Sir French Toast. 
in the case of the Stinky Stench. So, once again, this is a series of books. So if you liked it, um, check out the author. You can just do a general search and, and find the other titles that are in this series. So I hope you enjoyed this. I think it's really cute. That pancake and French toast are, are on the trail. So are you guys a pancake person or waffle people? What's your favorite? I'm not, I'm, I'm a waffle person myself. So French toast is not something I have a lot, but you know what? Maybe I should try. All right, you guys, I hope that you're having a great week. Um, love and miss you guys a ton. Not the same without you, but I've been praying for you and um, continue to have a blessed Holy Week, okay? Bye, guys. I'll see you next time.